Hello everyone. Welcome to your own channel Food Tech Network. My name is Anush Sharma. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a very interesting internship opportunity which Food Tech Network is bringing for you. This is going to be an amalgamation of research and academic concepts that will leverage your food tech experience to the next level. So let us begin what it is going to be. Food Science and Technology Internship Program. This internship offers you a golden opportunity to explore the academic and research based opportunities and excel in the career of food technology. This presents to you a gateway to your career in food industry. Let us quickly go through the details of this program. So this internship program is designed for aspiring individuals looking to build a career in the food processing, food regulatory and food technology sectors. It covers all topics with a strong practical aspect and includes a project for each participant. The program's mission is to equip food professionals with the necessary tools to tackle current challenges in the food industry. The curriculum aligns with the industry's aims and aspirations, helping students to grasp the fundamentals of food processes and technical know-how. It also prepares students for product development, product approval, food regulations, food analysis and more. Let us quickly go through what all topics are going to be covered in this course. Human food nutrition, methods of food preservation, fruits and vegetable processing, milk and milk product processing, baking product processing, methods of food analysis, FSSA that is Food Safety and Standards Act 2006, food law, regulations and standards. We are also going to deal with quality management system that is ISO 9000 series, HACCP hazard analysis critical control points, FSMS food safety management system, FSSC V volume 5.1 introduction and all those things. We will also discuss labeling and packaging practices, laboratory management system that is ISO 17000 series and NABL accreditation procedure, supervisor and auditor competency development, food storage, transportation, retail and distribution, anyone fast check training, manufacturing or catering. So this particular internship is going to develop a lot many skills in you. So if we talk about the soft skills which we are uh, trying to fabricate or tailor uh, in the students while going undergoing this internship then you will be developing your communication like oral listening and interview based skills you will develop critical thinking and problem solving aptitude professionalism will be incorporated like integrity ethics respect for diversity lifelong learning skills interaction skills like teamwork mentoring leadership networking interpersonal skills etc You'll also be uh, learning about the information acquisition skills like internet database manipulation and retrieving them. You'll also learn about org organizational skills like time and project management which are going to help you to wherever you go. A very unique characteristics of this internship is the introduction of mid-internship project. Every student who will be undergoing this training program will be asked to present a 20 minute video on a topic so, uh, which will be labeled as mid internship project. There are five project options and students can choose any one. The project includes preparing a title and project report. So if you see the five options which we are going to provide to you, then these are the technology of fruit and vegetable processing with regulatory compliance. The second topic is the technology of milk and milk products processing with regulatory compliance. The third one is the technology of bake baking processing with regulatory compliance. The fourth one includes the technology of beverage processing with regulatory compliance. And the last one includes the technology of confectionery and energy bar production with regulatory compliance. It will depend on you like what kind of topic do you want to choose and uh, it will be completely based on your interest and your future goals. The projects which will be assigned to you, the, the assignment will be done by the first week of internship. Project reports, which is a mandatory thing, is needed to be submitted within 15 days of completing this internship with five doubt clearing sessions. 
post internship project evaluation feedback will also be done now comes the most awaited part what all certifications are you going to get through them so the first certificate is project report with six certifications optional submission of the project report to your college 60 day industry internship certificate from ep infoways food safety consulting services 60 day training certificate from ep infoways institute institute of food safety and hygiene certification in HACCP FSMS ISO 22000 that is food safety management system FSSC V5 level 1 certification in good hygiene practices level 1 certification in quality management system ISO 9000 series certification in laboratory management system ISO 17001 now this was all about the academic aspects and the industrial oriented thing now let us discuss about the research aspect of this internship. So this program offers an opportunity to conduct research on specific topic, do secondary research, collect data from various sources and write a research paper. Students will also get the chance to publish their research paper in reputed peer reviewed international journals. So if I tell you a general process, say academics is a very important thing and also the industrial based training and learnings make you excel in industry but if you want to go in quality or R&D sector or if you want to pursue higher education in India or specifically in world renowned universities abroad then you need to have a research profile the research include various options you can go for patent filing you can go for review paper submission you can go for research paper so the general way involves like working on something you can work on a research idea and uh, like translate it into a paper you can work on a review paper and once you are done with that there are various means to publish it you can take the help of your professor and submit it via your professor uh, which can be done directly by submitting it to uh, the general website or you can go for a conference but it takes lots of time and moreover most uh, uh, like the most journals they take good amount of money which becomes very tough for students like uh, uh, the bachelor or masters one to you know fund 20,000 30,000 like amount for a single paper that's why the uh, option opportunities like this like publishing with us will help you gain publication and also will be very pocket and economic friendly for you so let us see what all journals are we going to target so we are going to give two options the first one is IJFANS that is International Journal of Food and Nutritional Sciences and the second one is IJFST International Journal of Food Science and Technology so each student will work on a group project and research paper during this internship which will be submitted after complete review to any of these now let us uh, understand the basic details about this uh, internship so there are there's a tough competition cut edge cutting edge competition because we just have 100 seats and the program will begin by 20th of november this year and the days will include monday tuesday wednesday and thursday that is four days a week timings will be 7 pm to 8 30 pm and fee option i'll tell you once we'll see how we apply it to the website so internship with project report and six certifications will cost you three thousand but if you want to have this extra advantage to you know enhance your cv by publishing uh, in these uh, reputed journals then you will get discounted price of 4248 and will also give you more discounts if you appear in group so don't wait for anything and just join us to unreveal and unveil your successful career in food technology so now we have come to the website so as you can see in this page uh, also we will be providing the link of this page in our description box so can you just you can just quickly uh, jump into the page for application so this says like food science and food technology internship program two months long plus international journal research paper publishing this page has all the details which i just told in the video so if you just want to read that again you can go through them all the details which we just discussed about the main motto of coming here is to see how do we apply for it so you just need to click on the supply option and then you will be directed to a google form so you can see these details once again the certification options 
so here you need to choose what option do you want to have like the first option is just with project report and six certificates if you happen to choose that you will not be availing the option of working in the research paper now if you want to have a research paper so this is how grouping will help you internship with international general research paper publishing plus project report plus certification if you are a single candidate will take 4248 from you if uh, you are group registering in group then two candidates will be taken by just 4000 4 3500 eight candidates 3125 16 candidates 2812 and 32 candidate, uh, candidates would uh, be taken by like 2500 rupees now this is the price for one candidate right you will not be have having like 2500 for 32 candidates i hope you get that so for one candidate you will need to pay this amount so here you need to write your name then you have like for instance i like my name and after that you will have to put your whatsapp number your father's name address date of birth qualification like either bachelor or masters or phd whatever you are going through then your name of institution that is the college you are pursuing your course in male or female your email id now this is the scan code quick response code you need to scan through it and pay and this is the payment option once you pay that you need to apply uh, you, uh, you know upload a screenshot in this add file option and after that uh, you have to share your payment receipt in this link also and once you share it you need to click yes share and submit the form that's it so this is how you need to apply for this uh, project so this was all about today's video i hope you understood all the concepts regarding our new internship program and still you have any doubt you can jot your doubts down in the comment section below we'll be more than happy to help you out if you like our content do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with all the food tech related information to stay connected with us you can also follow us on instagram and join us on linkedin you can also join our whatsapp groups with the links provided in the description box so bye then meet you in the next video